My name is Jen, and I am on a journey in order to break free from the destructive patterns of disordered eating and in order to embrace a nourishing lifestyle. My roadmap can be described using an acronym of the word nourisher. So I'm doing daily video blog posts in order to encourage you, equip you, and keep you up to date on my progress. If this content is helpful or encouraging to you, please consider subscribing, hitting that like button, and sharing with others. It is my deep desire that these videos would help to ignite nourishing transformations in us all. Hey everybody, welcome to day 26 of my Nourisher check-in. I found my tears. <laughs> Yesterday I had had a hard time finding them, but I found them today. And that's, yeah, it's helpful, but it's just so sad. No, it's so sad, I think, for me to come to a place of noticing um, just how difficult it is for me to uh, take what's inside of me and and show it on the outside and how incredibly easily crushed I can be when the people around me don't notice that I've done that or don't um, don't attune to me in that and it's, it's so easy I think and natural to miss each other's cues and to have to maybe maybe state our, our wants, our needs, our desires, our thoughts, our feelings more than once um, and many, maybe even many times. Um, but when it's so, when it feels so almost intolerable to put it out there and then for it to come out and not be, uh, not be recognized, um, yeah. Yeah, so I think I just feel really messy inside. That that's my can that be my my notice my emotion word? I feel really messy. I feel messy for the way that the complexities inside of me complicate relationships and make it difficult for other people to be in relationship with me. I feel messy, um or maybe lonely, um for the way that um yeah, that my own feelings and thoughts and needs have a hard place finding a, a true home where they feel like they're heard and seen and known and responded to. And yeah, so I just feel really messy, messy today. I feel a lot of comfort from God in that. But yeah, I think that in living in this, this very messy world, messy brain chemistry that um, even though I feel a lot of hope for my my spiritual relationship with God I think that there's just some inevitableness of the messiness of this side of heaven so yeah so I feel messy and opening up to others kind of as I described yesterday um, has been something I've been trying to do with people that I really deeply uh, desire to connect with, but that it's a little bit more, more tricky for me. And of course, these would be more challenging days for opening up to others. And right in the middle of, of the tears coming out and sobbing into my pillow, I had the conscious thought of a piece of chocolate would be so soothing right now. Like, like, <laughs> like a tape recorder in my brain. So like the cycle the cycle is just so alive and active and ready to lure me back in at any moment. So I haven't done that yet. <laughs> so um, this would be one of those moments where I feel like things are hopeless or where I th feel like things in myself won't get better or things in my relationships won't be able to get better because of the deficiencies in me and, and just who the people in my life are that, um, it would be just such an easy, such an easy, seemingly soothing, calming place to just go and sit with a bag of something. Um, yeah, so I'm going to need some accountability around that and I'll keep trying to check in for that. But um, I'm going to need to spend the rest of the day doing some rewiring things for my brain yesterday. Um, what did I do to rewire my brain? Oh, yesterday was totally chill like game day and probably the best thing that I did to rewire my brain yesterday was to play this silly game with our kids kind of like a 
like a guessing game, but there was just some laughter and some fun and some, you know, intensity kind of focused on that. And that was really good, really good to have those connecting experiences for us. It's really easy to, on the weekends, we don't um, have a television at home. We don't watch um, stuff during the week, but we'd love to have um, movie nights on the weekends. It's just so easy to veg and to enjoy that, you know, maybe physical connection of a snuggle on the couch, but not really to be engaging with each other. And um, so today or yesterday was just a really great engaging day. So that was, that was terrific. Um, I, the, my eating was good yesterday. Nothing, nothing bizarre to out of the ordinary, no big temptations. Um, eat frequently, smaller portions throughout the day. I think I was able to keep my blood sugars pretty stable. I'm noticing way better sustained energy throughout the day. I'm really, really super grateful for that. It's really great. And sleep, of course, now um, that I'm checking in for the previous day, the next day, um, in the evening, I'm just so much easier just to just to call in a night because I you know, don't have these videos to stay up for. So, so far I'm a couple of nights and as I say that, I'm going to, Oh, I bet I made you yawn too. Um, <laughs> um, yeah. So getting much better sleep. So I had horrible dreams last night and this horrible, horrible, horrible dream. Um, so I don't, I don't know what the quality of my sleep was like because of that dream, but it's very vivid and very intense and very yucky. So, uh, hoping for a dreamless sleep tonight. Uh, hydration yesterday went fine. Yeah, again, whenever I'm home, I always struggle with remembering to hydrate, whereas it's much more easy for me when I'm out and about. Um, so it wasn't wasn't a stellar day, but nothing. Um, yeah, I, I'm probably gonna need to up my up my hydration in these these early days of the week. And where am I? E exercise. Yeah, exercise was uh, good yesterday. Went for a really nice walk in the afternoon, and oh, that's when I did my my nourisher check in yesterday. I brought you with me, and just so nice to be out in nature. And yesterday, I didn't take any calls with me, or any you know audiobooks or anything like that. No podcasts, uh, and just let my mind run. Um, Again, it really strikes me as I've been looking at the research and seeing that so many people who are like me who struggle with disordered eating are, um, you know, quite, you know, intellectual and high achievers and perfectionist and um, that, that the battle can really, the battle for me really is in my, in my mind and heart. That's where it's fought. And just to give my, my brain some time just to just to think and run and, and let it see where it was landing. What, what seems important to my brain right now, uh, seemed very helpful during my, during my walk. Oh. It's obvious that I need more sleep. So maybe after this, I'm going to need to go and have a rest. Um, and I think, I think just the point of this emotional work is so exhausting and, um, you know, even getting those tears out today, it's just, it's so good and so healing and so helpful and so exhausting. So, um, yeah, for my, my reward today, I feel even like too tired to think about it. <laughs> so but my reward will be, you know, sustained energy and the ability to be gentle with myself on days like this where I'm, um, feeling pretty spent and feeling really emotional. Well, can I even air this? Ah! Sorry. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, maybe my reward is deeper and better rest and more self-compassion to allow myself to rest. That's something to, to work towards and to build in. So I hope you had a great day. We're in this together and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.